Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the long-awaited, highly anticipated crouching video about crouching. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I've uh, done this video a few times. Messed up a few times because I'm doing this without a script, like usual. So let's just jump right into it. Go away from jump. I've created a new FSM. I'm not going to stop many times and explaining a bunch of stuff because I've already kind of done that. <clears throat> but not for this one, but uh, okay, so new FSM, call it Crouching The state Color it blue and call it idle Within here we now need to get an input Not an axis not an input really but a button really button get button yours would be get button mine is just called Get button. Hard shell, get button. Let's get crouch. Store it as a boolean called is well, crouching. Uh, crouching. 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 There we go. The microphone is in the way. Every frame. Um, boolean test. We need these two to start with because we're testing an input. Or a button. Whether or not we're pr uh, pressing the button. He's crouching. And uh, set it to every frame. Now we've already sort of begun. I'm going to explain how we're going to make the crouching mechanic. Go to our scene view. Oh, why is it set to? Okay. Alright. So when we made this character controller, we set its, its position, its center, at the bottom of the... Of the character controller. We're now gonna have to set it back to zero. Because uh, the previous few attempts I've uh, done on this video, I found a few issues. So let's just set it to zero. Now we need to set our camera's position minus one. So since it's 1.8, 1, 1 set it to 0 0.8. And now it's at the proper position. Okay. So, that's it. That's all you need to change. Also, just so we have it... Uh, where is mouse look? Have meant to do this. Maximum Y. Uh, it's just... No, not that one. Maximum Y at... Let's see. 90 and... 90. So now, you can look up and down without it sort of messing up. All right, it's important. Uh, okay, ignore that and go back to crouching. So now you've done these things. How we're gonna make the crouching mechanic is by, we could, we could change the scale, but we're changing the scale of something which has physics applied to it. It might cause a few issues. So we're not gonna use scale. We're gonna change height. We're still changing something which has physics applied to it, but it seems to be a bit more stable. And since we set the center at zero, we can now also have crouch jumping. So we have that mechanic covered. It's sort of like a meta thing, right? It wasn't really supposed to happen within the games that has crouching or crouch jumping, but yeah, it has crouch jumping now. Okay, good. So. We're going to change the height, and we do that by using a different... So, let's create a new state by using a thing called controller settings. Search for controller settings. If it if you can't find it, it's within character. Then controller settings. Drag that in here. And the height. We need to set this. To 1. Not every frame, but just set height to 1. That's it. And within our idle state, we also need to add the logic behind the is true or is false. We're not going to use is is false now. We're going to use this. Create a uh, create a new event called is crouching. Boom. There we go. Now we have something which checks for the button. Goes here. Sets the height. And we also kind of need it to return in a way and we do that by by here 
actually could do this entire thing within one, within these two, but uh, let's not. Let's, let's not. Or should we? Hmm. You know what? We're going to do it within just these two states. So since, uh, yeah, let's call it crouching the state, color it green. The plan was not to use just two states, but we're going to use two states. So we then need to copy our controller settings into our idle. Set it at the top and set it back to two. And then we need, uh, need this one, get button, copy it, paste it into here. Now, if we change this height, you see the, ca the, the camera's position isn't changing. It did change when we used this, the scale, but we're changing the scale of, yeah, again, uh, ignore it. Ignore the scale, use the height. We need to set our camera's position manually. And we do that by set position and it should be within transform set position and oh yeah right we also need to get the child get the child <clears throat> child is called camera tagged as main camera probably store it as no store it as main camera camera the microphone is in the way so I'm pressing the wrong buttons so now we have the camera gotten we get the child and specify game object main camera set its position to our, its new position which is what is it I think it's this divided by two I think it's that 0 0.4 I think it's that if we go to set height again yeah that looks about right I think right looks somewhat correct doesn't it Eh, good enough good enough so let's set it to 0.4 uh, yeah let's just keep it at this <clears throat> and then we need to copy it into this thing paste it set its position back to 0.8 and that's it so now we have something which resets everything we set the controllers height back to its normal thing and the cameras position back to its normal position and then you press the button now it set its its height to its crouching position or crouching height cameras back to camera crouching position or something and then it waits for the button to be pressed again or be released rather so okay but, but, but what are we going to do hold on Right, cause that's the thing I was thinking about. We also need a logic which checks whether or not. Um, well, actually, I, I can visually explain this. So let's do a. Uh, any. Any bool true. Any bool. Oh, wait. False. No. Uh, not true. No, wait. <laughs> I can't quite remember what they're what they're called. The boolean, non-true. There, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm gonna need a non-true. First, let's just set it to one, so we have this crouching. Whether or not this one is true or false, it's false. So then we go to create a new event called not not crouching. Next, ah, oh, god damn it. There. And, and go back there. Okay, so this now flip flops whether or not you're pressing it or not. Good. Check every frame. 
Now, the reason why we use this is because we, we're gonna check for more booleans. But for the time being, I need to explain the or show off why we need the, the logic, whether or not we're hitting something or not. Press crouch, yep, it's working. It's working. E, E. Oh no. Yeah, I'm pressing control S and that's, well, the, well we're within the editor, so it thinks we're gonna save. So, yeah, it's, it's working. It's working, that's good. I forgot to check the update. Silly me. The problem with this, you might already figure it out, is when we release the crouching key, we go straight back up to standing position, right? And if we now go, well, as you can see, we can't walk into here. Crouching, we can release it and boom. Oh no, we're inside the object. Pr problems. Let's fix. And we do that with a raycast. So, raycast, direction, upwards, distance. Uh, what's the distance really? Hold on. And hit. Did hit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ray cast hit. Let's just call it that. So, <clears throat> if the distance is one, uh, okay, it tra tra ray, tra ray casts upwards one unit. If it hits something, this boolean changes to true. We want it to be false, which is why we use a boolean, none of them being true. So set it to two, so we ha we can change or check both of them, whether or not it's true or false. If both of them are false, it goes back to here. If one of them is true, but one, uh, the other is false, it still stays within the state, I think. Also. Within the filter of the raycast, um, we need to select one layer, or one tag rather, uh, which is player. Player is within player? Yes. Uh, yes. Within the player uh, layer. <laughs> and invert the mask so we don't hit ourselves with the ray. Because this was triggered by anything. Could have hit ourselves if we were so unlucky to do so. So, yeah. <clears throat> Save it and press play. I think it should work now. If not, we have to increase the, 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 the distance. The distance. Okay, it's still working. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice wavy grass. Ignore it. Ah, we need to set it to a lot higher. We need to set it to 1.5 actually, not 1. Point whatever. But now we have we know the problem. We already have a crouching mechanic. This is just filler. 1.5. Let's see. Does that work? I think that should do it. Can't crouch or stand up again. So let's uh, set the debug on. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's working. It's working as intended. That's good. So yeah, waffling about nothing. All right, might edit that out. So yeah, we need to set the raycast distance to something more, something like oh, one point five or something. That should do it. 
Yeah. All right. That's th that's crouching. We now have crouching. Hurrah! You might want to animate it, and you could if you want to, but uh, this this works. As you can see, if we jump, we can jump up here. But if we crouch jump, no issues at all. All right, cool. See, can't jump up here. Crouch jump, we can. Huzzah! Crouch jumping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we have crouching. <laughs> Goodbye.